Hey, hello everybody, it's me Cyber Soldier, and welcome back to another malware review aka malware demonstration. In today's video we're gonna take a look at the malware that basically targets Windows 11. What is very unusual about this malware is that it was coded in Python programming language. Normally I test malwares that have been built in C languages, so that's why it is very unusual for this review. Anyway, this malware contains some interesting features such as bypassing UAC protection and trusted installer. Those of you who don't know, trusted installer is responsible for keeping critical files, processes and registry data untouched by the user or administrator. So if the malware bypass the trusted installer, the PC is pretty much cooked. There are other cool features like interacting with windows, generating random beats and also some GDI effects, aka graphical stuff. I hope this malware is not gonna be about only GDI effects, but hey, to figure it out we need to actually try it first. But before we're gonna launch the malware, I have to say something very important. According to my statistics, only few of you are subscribing. I spent a lot of time on editing my videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel it's totally for free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want thank you very much so yeah let's actually test the malware it doesn't even have an icon and there's a readme file so let's read it for a while and yeah that, that that's that's all the information yeah i think we are ready to test this malware without further ado let's actually run this malware and see what will happen what Okay, I forgot to say that this malware uh, is created by How to Not Archive. Okay, so shout out to him for creating this malware. The program you are about to execute is a serious dangerous Trojan that can destroy your computer. If you don't know what to do, please press no to simply cancel and delete this program immediately afterwards. If you are aware of your action and are doing this on safe environment, please click yes. I will not be responsible for any damages. This can cause to your computer if you accidentally run this program on your own device or someone someone else devices do you want to continue yes i want to continue because i'm of course on virtual machine so nothing can hurt me and i disconnected my internet connection and yeah this is the last warning i will not read this everybody knows that you know what will happen probably <laughs> afterwards i'm actually very thirsty oh my god okay so let's actually see what this malware can do i'm very curious oh Okay, so it is a base GDM out there. Um, okay, I will lower the sounds. H how am I supposed to react to this? Like, oh my god. Uh, great effects, by the way. We got the... It tried to like open the DSTL file in Notepad, I guess. That's why we can see this. Okay, so we are getting some crazy effects right now. The sounds are pretty boring, like, not gonna lie. I don't like it. I don't like the sounds. They could be done in a better way, but whatever. So it is still opening the Explorer uh, for some reasons. And oh my god, we got the calculator. Okay, that's crazy. Yes, it can change the titles of each windows. There's some weird weird Chinese text or I don't know which language is this. It's probably just gibberish, you know. Okay, so I'm still getting calculators. Here's my question. Okay, so task manager has been disabled. That's very usual. Okay, so the sounds are getting more insane. Uh, this is actually, like, these effects are actually cool. I like it. I like those effects. So many applications are starting. Okay. But the effects are cool, I must say. I must agree on that. You know, this malware reminds me of Monoxide, but like less dangerous or less or like less insane. This is this is just like less insane version of Monoxide malware. Okay, so first of all, there is no UAC bypass. Let's be honest, guys. Uh, he he lied about it. I'm actually curious if I can open the registry editor. Oh, I actually can. So yeah. So thanks to this registry editor, I can enable the task manager. But I don't think I can do it because I'm getting these graphical effects. What can I say about it? Like, that's why I really don't want to test these the graphical malwares because it's all it's about the same thing, you know. Okay, so we are getting some weird shapes right now. Okay, oh. this is like weird keep. That's very interesting. Okay, so can I open an application? Oh, yeah, I can actually. Okay, so I can open an application without any problems and like. What now? What, what, what is gonna happen? Okay, there are some strange errors. What? I don't have the internet connection. Okay, and our master record have been cooked, so that's why it cannot 
find the operating system. So yeah, that, that's it from this malware. That, that's it. Like, there's nothing else. There's nothing more about this malware. Well, I will try to launch it on uh, older operating systems. I will try to launch it on Windows 8. Maybe it will work, I don't know. I'm wondering what is gonna happen. Oh, it is working. Or at least this warning message works. Okay, I'm gonna lower the volume again and I'm gonna test it. It seems that everything works perfectly fine. <laughs> I've got the same window and the same effects. So yes, you can run it on older operating systems. The audio is really messed up, oh my god, that, 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 the audio is really cursed. Oh, I can run the task manager. You know what I'm gonna do with that? You, you definitely know what I'm gonna do with that. Wait, I've noticed that I have the CC cleaner. Will CC cleaner work? Or will it even, oh my god, the audio is really messed up. Jesus Christ, it's so laggy. But it works, it kind of works. It's not that optimized. It's not working perfectly fine. It seems that everything works perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's actually see if CC Cleaner can do anything about it. And this is just a joke. I know that it will not do anything. The computer is barely handling anything right now, so I don't think it will do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Com cleaning completed, but <laughs> I think that was very useless. Okay, so let me actually kill this malware. I need to find it. Uh, where is it? Wait. Why there are two of them? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Oh. What? Okay. So, yeah, guys. I do, I, I'm actually speechless right now. I expect something like blue screen of death, but it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, you can easily get rid of the malware by just ending the process in the task manager. So, yeah, you can kill it via task manager. That's fucking amazing. Oh my god. Let's see if the master boot record have been overwritten. I think the master boot record is dead. It seems that the master boot record have been overwritten. So, yeah, that would be it. Let's jump onto Windows XP. It has been a long time since I went to this operating system. There's my Discord logo. Join to my Discord, by the way, so we can discuss about malwares and other related topics to it. So, will it work? Let's, let's find out. And no, it's not valid for Win32 application, so you can't run it on Windows XP, unfortunately. It can work on Windows 7, but for some reasons, Windows 7 operating system doesn't work for me. I don't know why, but I cannot, I cannot launch, I cannot, like, start Windows 7 on this computer. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong. So yeah, that would be it from this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and write a comment. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>